What's up and welcome back. Today's test drive is a 1971 Camaro. This one's got an aftermarket set of American racing rims. It's also got disc brakes in the front. It's got a crate 350 under the hood. It's also got power steering. It's got a upgraded five speed transmission with a short shifter in it. A nice black paint job. Split bumper in the front, dual exhaust in the rear. And I like to point out flaws. I look for the flaws on these cars so you don't have to. If you're out of state, uh, you can check out this video. You'll know everything about this car before you come down here. You can also look at 100 detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. Check out some of our previous inventory here on YouTube. And you can see all of the updated inventory every Monday at that website. That's right, maplemotors.com. Of course, you want some gear? Check it out below. I got a link to the uh, t-shirts and coffee cups and beer glasses and all the good stuff so let's shut this hood i tell you what it's about that time let's go for a ride before we take off go look around the interior check everything out go ahead place your bets do you think the horn works it's a little game we like to play on the channel here. Across the dash there, looks nice and clean. Got aftermarket set of gauges. Check this little shifter out here. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. I can show you the mileage. I can't stand behind it. This is a crate motor that's been put in here. Showing 98,000. Not a tilt column. Let's go ahead and start her up. She's still cold. All I did was start it up and pull it right here in the middle of the lot. She's holding her own. See, she's still cold right now. The battery gauge is not hooked up. Um, oil pressure's right around 50. Let's try the radio. That old radio right there is not even cutting on, so it does not work. Wipers? They moved. I think they're stuck on the hood. Let me get out of here and yank on them a second. They are definitely stuck on the hood. We'll cut them off before I mess them up. They're going back down now. Yeah, that hood's sitting right down on top of that. So wipers want to work. Let's go ahead and try this horny already. Let's hit it. No horn on this one. Blower motor? I don't hear anything. Sometimes the high is out. Let's put it on medium. Oh, it blew some insulation out. So yeah, it's blowing in the floor. Looking around the car here, interior's in good shape. Back seat looks pretty good. Package tray, not too bad. Back corner there around the window. Could use a little love. Look around there. Checking out your headliner. Not too bad, a little wrinkly in certain spots, but it looks like a mechanic's headliner, not an interior guy. So I assume we probably had that put in. Looks like our temp gauge has moved a little bit. Emergency brake light cut on after I hit it. The gas cage is almost full, so we're good there. Let's hit the road and uh, see how she runs and drives. Seatbelt's pretty old in this thing. It's not quite working right. Probably need some new seatbelts. We're gonna take off down the road. Like I said, anything I see, I will let you know. Just like the seatbelt. Got reverse here. It's the first time I've used it since we've owned the car. <laughs> Anything I see, I will let you know. That's why I do these videos. Car is definitely 
got to get up and go. I can hear the turn signals, but I don't see. Okay. The right one is popping up. gears there so you should be doing pretty good on the interstate hitting the brakes on this one a little bit of a stiff pedal still stopping good but jumping on over here going straight as an arrow down the road steering's tight as soon as I turn it turns there's no slack we've had a lot of luck with steering here lately uh, pretty much every car that's come in has been pretty tight and going straight as an arrow. If you've noticed in the last couple videos. Engine temperature is up at 190 right now. Good running temp. This car is very easy to drive. We're going to pull in this parking lot here and get some outside footage. Also going to uh, do some undercarriage shots like I normally do. Watch out for that giant hole there. And we'll have a little fun. Look below in the description to see what I use. Also see the gear and stuff that we have listed. All right. Let's do this. Okay, you ready to go? Me too. Engine temperature is like right at 200. That's that's fine. Uh, oil pressure is right around 30, and that's good. And we've been in this parking lot in a black car on a 100 degree day, so I'd say that's an achievement. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and uh, hit the road here. What do y'all think? Maybe the long road, maybe the long route. Let's do it. These 
mats, you know, bundled up in the floor there. Exhaust sounds awesome on this one. I like the little rumble down. So what are you doing, man? No turn signal? That's right. <laughs> Suspension's all right on this one. It feels pretty good. I'd say for the oversized wheels, I'd have to give it a six or a seven out of 10 on suspension rating, just to give you an idea there. And that's a good, that's, that's a good rating. <laughs> you know what that sounds like? A center cap. I've noticed one other thing, the brake release uh, or the brake down there does not work. I heard you. Who put one screw in this? I'm gonna take this off. I knew I heard that. I'm gonna ask our, uh, our guy that works in detail about this. Let's check the rest of them. That one looks good, that one looks good. Just forgot one, didn't he? Cool. All right. All right, let's hit the road again. With one less center cap. We do have little screws for that center cap. We'll have it back on basically as soon as we get back to the lot. So that's not an issue there. I'm pretty positive we probably put these wheels on here. So I'll figure that out. That's for sure. The shifter it just clicks right in if you look at it you got to click it in every single time it feels good feels solid the clutch on this one's good too it's not slipping or anything and no we're not speeding through here speed limit's 35 i may be running 40 so i guess i may be going five over but had some people mention in the comments, well, you shouldn't be flying through the neighborhoods right here. Well, I'm not really flying, so let's get that straight here. <laughs> the brakes could be better. That ding was the center cap back there. solid feel to it as long as I push the clutch in
popped out a fourth on me there for a second. I think I just didn't push it all the way in like I was supposed to. Let's try it again. First. Second. got long gears this is a good highway car you should be able to jump up and run 70 to 100 i would assume especially with that fifth gear there uh and do keep in mind this is the first time i've driven this car so i'm not going to be the perfect guy to be shifting it right now because i just now getting to know the car you know what i mean so and i drive multiple cars a day all different shifters and they're all different they really are Try it again. I'm just trying to get to fifth gear here. It's in fifth gear now, but we're running up on people. It's pretty quick. Try this again. Speedometer's definitely not reading correct. That thing's bouncing like this. <laughs> I was gonna tell you what we got up to, but I wasn't sure if I was to guess, I'd say 60. But she runs good, nice tight car here. And uh, hopefully I represented it well. All right, we're back at the lot. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Go inside maybe get some lunch i appreciate you riding along with me definitely check out the walk around video where we're going to point out the flaws it's coming up here in just a minute thanks again guys hit subscribe share and hit like that helps me out more than you know all right this week taking advantage of the shade tree since it's like 100 degrees out here but we're going to walk around this car point out the flaws look for chips scratches rust any issues and we do this with every car on the lot so you know what you're getting we already did the test drive and now it's time to pick out the flaws you can look at the detailed pictures at maplemotors.com along with financing and shipping and we'll get you hooked up so let's get started here so the little bumpers on the front of this look at like they're in really good shape i think somebody's already replaced them um looking at the headlight bezels they look a little bit older could be polished up the grill on this thing is looking sweet Nice and clean, easy to open the hood, easy to access. That lower spooler there looks fairly new as well. Coming down the side, we're gonna go down the lower portions first, come back to midsection, hit the top. This car is pretty straightforward, so it shouldn't take too long to do this video. It's a really clean car. Let's get it. A little spot there, coming up over. Good tires, nice, pretty new set of rims. Coming on down. You got a few bubbles in your paint here. No, not, sorry, that's all Merle. No bubbles right there. A uh, little touch up mark there. Coming up over the fender. There is a little bubble in the paint right there, a little thick. Back looks pretty good, picked up some dust. Coming back to midsection chip right there on the door that looks like it's wiping off so there's nothing there you got a little uh, chip in the paint right there up on top here you got a little chip as well uh, that's some dirt 
coming back over the top portion. Front windshield, I don't see any scratches. I don't see any chips. They did paint the trim around the front windshield right here. You can see some paint lines and stuff in it. You also got a little bit of overspray right there on your pillar. Looking over the roof line, a little wavy right here in the center. I don't know why, it just has a little bit of a shimmer to it. Same right here. Maybe it's some old dents. Or maybe they sat something up there and caused a little dent. Back window's looking good. Your trim needs to be touched up. Kind of coming undone there too. Back window's got some scratches right here. Your wing has got some little blotches in it. Coming around the back, back bumper definitely is fairly new. It's looking good. Little blotches there too. Looks like you got a wire going to the uh, tag. Probably a light. Trunk does not stay open by itself. The springs are weak in it. The seal around the trunk looks good. Spare tire. Let's look around in here. Not too bad, looking pretty good. Coming down with this. Wing has got some thick paint on the back here. Shut's pretty good. Let's head down this side now, lower portion first. like a little dimple right there real small imperfection doors hanging a little bit see that's kind of out Let me try to shut her firm here she just got a slack on it so it needs to be tightened up you have got a chip there and a chip there coming on down Back to midsection, you got a little spot there, it's been touched up. A lot of this little stuff that you're seeing on here is some dirt. I don't know how it got so much dirt on it since this morning. We washed it and I guess it's just dusty out here today. A little thick on the paint right there. From here to here back window pretty good a little hazy right here it's like it's kind of flat compared to all the rest of the paint maybe some overspray light scratches right here that should be able to buff out it's almost like somebody cleaned it with a rag there and just kind of smeared it and it streaked up the paint a little bit chip right here yeah look at all this bug stuff I ain't supposed to be there all that'll wipe off looks like a little dent right here in your pillar real small mirror's got some oxidation on it that could be cleaned up Front window's in good shape. All right, made it all the way around. Let's go ahead and start this motor up, listen to it, and uh, check the interior out again. Let's see what we got here. Opening the door. Door panel on this one's in pretty good shape. The handle there's got a little rip. Weather stripping looks good.
checking your jams. Weather stripping looks good around the doors. Checking your seat out. Carpet's in great shape in this one. The seat looks good. Back seat, I've had this there the whole time. I'll show you that spot too. It's in good shape. I'm gonna throw my gear back though. That's the gear that I use to make these videos. So if you wanna look below in the description, you can see all the stuff. It's like back in here, not perfect. Headliner's a little wrinkled. And it needs some seat belts. The ones that are in here aren't that great, so I'd say do for upgrade on the seat belts. Haven't had any overheating issues. It stayed about 190 the whole time. Of course, I just cut her off. She went, they were gonna heat up when you first cut them off. It's gonna cool back down though. Just give it two seconds, watch it. There she goes. Back down, good old pressure. I'm loving the little shifter here. It's felt good the whole test drive, so. Earlier when we were driving around the parking lot, I heard a little bit of a rattling noise. I, uh, I think it's the hood vibrating. Coming down with this hood, we'll check it out. Rock her back and forth. That way he's not been the hood here. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this walk around and the test drive. If you did, please share the video, hit like, and uh, subscribe. If you sign up here on YouTube, you can subscribe, and anytime I post a car for sale, it'll pop up on your phone and alert you. But you can also go to maplemotors.com, and on Mondays around 11 o'clock, Mondays at 11, Mondays at 11, there should be an update, and it'll be around 10 cars a week. We'll constantly have new inventory here at Maple Motors, and we'll give you all the flaws. That way you know what you're getting. Look at the detailed pictures. Check out our finance options. Three companies to pick from. Low interest rates. And I do have shipping companies that can send these cars all over the nation. So uh, check all that out. Check our gear out. We've got a lot of stuff going on up here this week. So I'm going to get busy, get back, and uh, thank you for watching. Later, guys.